The alert now, U.S. sending a message to Iran, a show of military muscle yet again. The Air Force announcing that B-52 bombers are flying their first mission in the Middle East to deter Iran. An Iranian commander calling U.S. military assets in the area, quote, a target and not a threat. Meanwhile, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo heading to Brussels to talk to the European allies about matters there. Rich Edson, State Department, a lot to cover now. Rich, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Bill. And this is the second time in less than a week that the Secretary of State has had to change his travel plans, citing threats from Iran. He was supposed to be in Moscow today. Instead, he's in Brussels. The State Department says he's meeting with the NATO Secretary General and the foreign ministers from Germany, France, and the United Kingdom. Those are also the three countries that are still part of the Iran nuclear agreement. Last week, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani gave those three European countries about two months to help Iran circumvent U.S. sanctions. If not, Rouhani says Iran will resume producing highly enriched uranium. Over the past week, the United States has expanded its presence in the Middle East, citing threats from Iran. The Pentagon has sent four B-52 bombers to Qatar. The Air Force says those planes have already flown missions to deter Iran. The Pentagon has also deployed the USS Abraham Lincoln Carrier Strike Group to the Persian Gulf. This has all developed as the administration marked its one-year anniversary last week of withdrawing from the Iran nuclear agreement. In the past year, the U.S. has restored sanctions on Iranian banking, oil, and key exports. Secretary Pompeo says the U.S. does not seek war with Iran, though warns any attack on American citizens or interests would be met with a swift and decisive U.S. response. The secretary is scheduled to move on to Moscow, or excuse me, to Sochi. The Moscow trip's been scrapped. That's where he'll meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The secretary, according to a U.S. official, will uh, also talk Iran with the Russian president, along with a host of other issues that the U.S. and Russia have differences on. Thank you, Bill? Rich. Rich Edson from the State Department. Thank you.